All right, let's talk about patterns. Patterns allow you to quickly create beautiful and usable interfaces when building functional dashboards. Whether you copy expressions from the cell design site or use drag and drop from the palette, building a dashboard can be made easy with Appian's built-in options and inspiration from our readily made templates via our docs. Previously, you learned how to use the cell design site to plan the design of a report-based dashboard. Well, in this video, we will create a functional reporting dashboard using patterns and user-inspired visual elements. Now let's try to recall our use case, the Acme personal finance application. In this application, users need to track their finances and create financial goals. Now to get started, let's create an interface. We'll explore the available drag and drop patterns from the palettes and build our dashboard. To get an overview of financial data, we should probably choose a KPI pattern for the top of our dashboard. In this case, KPI 2 looks great. Let's drag it onto the canvas. Now we'll update this later, so don't worry about it. Users should be able to navigate between their financial accounts. The first navigation pattern will fit our needs and we can modify it later. Let's drag it in. Now that we have our layout, it's time to update each component to match our use case. In this case, we're going to use design mode to click and select the actual components instead of handling things behind the scenes in expression mode. Let's update the labels for each card to show the total amounts in our checking, savings, money market, and Acme investment accounts. Updating the pattern to use icons is just as easy. The stamp component provides a decorative way of displaying visual interest on the page. Accessing the expression for this component makes for quick updates. Changes to the pattern can also change its dimensions. We can make further changes to component width and alignment as needed. Next, we should update the navigation items to match our financial accounts. Going into expression mode will make it easy to update values in this pattern, so let's go for it. The name for each navigation item comes from a local variable. Let's update the labels and icons for each item. Now that our layout has been configured and updated, it is time to add our data. Our KPIs reference expression rules that generate data using Appian functions and queries. Using the component configuration makes it easy to remove the placeholder values and replace them with our own. Our navigation will display a grid for each financial account's transaction history. We will also include an object that supports viewing and creating financial goals. And with that, with final touch-ups to styling, we have a simple dashboard. To recap, we incorporated pre-built patterns into our dashboards and updated each to display aggregate business data. So stay tuned for future videos in this series as we continue to build out this dashboard and dive into the expressions that created it. You can learn more and practice building interfaces by checking out Academy Online, but also the Cell Design Sites and the UX documentation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.